Okay, so it should be a mission time now. It's a major one as well. And, uh... Yeah, we'll see to it. Salvation at the chapel. Captain? Captain! Where are you? Hey, Professor, have you seen your old man? Too bad. I guess it will have to be you, then. I'm back. Sorry for the delay. My last mission took longer than expected. Captain! Thank goodness you're here. There are reports of demonic beasts near the chapel. Nonsense. I haven't heard anything about the monastery's walls being breached. That's why I'm heading there now, to see what's really going on. You'll join as well, won't you? Of course. We're both sworn to protect this place. It's odd. Just before they appeared, someone saw a number of students heading toward the chapel. They were apparently acting strange, as though they weren't in their right minds. Shortly after, demonic beasts started to appear, one after another. Hmm. The students. There's no way those demonic beasts got in from the outside. But none of that matters right now. We need to act. Go summon your students. Damn it. I wanted to talk to you about something important, but there's no time. Oh, there's never any damn time. But this is much more urgent, so it can hold for now. I'll meet you there. Okay. My stuff, AK. No. Um. Come back. And the items. I should just decide to have that. Bring it equipped. Her as well, for some reason. God, I hate when it when it does that. Um, yeah, we should be good. Our Gerald falls in battle. There really are demonic beasts here. They're emerging from the chapel. I'll head that way. The rest of you, protect the students who weren't able to get away. Help me! These beasts, they're... Stupid beasts! Don't you dare come over here! I don't think I would uh, taunt them or let you know your position. Just freaking hide. Not the smartest students, it's uh, evident. Demonic pepperoni. Was it like four of them? It seemed like. Oh, there's a ballista. Hmm. How do you open the map again? So there's a chest in there as well. Okay. So what do we have? Oh. Hack, sword, sword. Okay. Um. Let's 
So does it wait, does it mean like is it It's kinda hard to understand as to what the hell it means. We could send a sword there. I will prevail. We'll go this way. I will get the victory. Stay go focused. for this. And um Go for something like this as well. Put me in there. Yeah, we are aggroing the um That's my cue. Dorothea goes with her. To work. Shamir can also go in there. Slide on or something? Not sure what the hell I just did, but okay. Okay, let's make up some ground to that one over there. Okay. 
Okay, this is dead. Just go normal attack, I guess. Heal. So it's not entirely impossible to save these students. It's actually very much doable, I guess. I feel like uh, he would, the freaking ally would kill him. who couldn't get away are they okay absolutely He de aggro the student. Oh, he took some fire DOT. Oh, he healed again. One shot it though. This is not, it doesn't feel like this is gonna be it. Surely there's gonna be something more coming up. Oh, damn.
another step forward. I can't wait to challenge you. I was so scared. I'll find a way to repay you. I promise. I mean, maybe they stand on the heel tile. I mean, that's why. Are they? No, she's not. But she's still healing. That is really strange, though. I think this surely this is not gonna be the skill is just too easy at this point. It's going out to the student because it's a dumbass. It is a big dum dum. Shot him anyways. And a devil's axe she can. Sorry. That was a close one. <gasps> you saved me. Thank you. Energy drop. I'm gonna steal. Trace of evidence to be found in the chapel. This must have something to do with Ramayer. Perhaps. Wait! Huh? Another student? What? Run along now. Thanks for all your help, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Papa, it no! Looks like I'm going to have to leave you now. <laughs> to think that the first time I saw you cry, your tears would be for me. It's sad, and yet I'm happy for. Bever is also showing its tears for it. I 
honestly, it doesn't. I, little, little I feel like emotion with that. It, it just felt like throughout the whole thing, it has a little connection, anyways, to be honest. But the ones that did like really good was like The Last of Us so Part 1. This is where your father lived. I can elaborate even, like, even though it's literally the start of a game. Um, you know, with the how Joel loses his daughter, and like literally in the, like in the first ten minutes, it felt even more emotional than this. Even though you like throw up like fairly decent hours into the game, like let's say like twenty plus hours. And the last of us, it felt more emotional because you know the character detail, you know the music, the acting, and all that. This is just like yeah, whatever. Father died. Are you still crying? Big deal. Move on, you know. <laughs> That's what it felt, felt Turning like. Turning back the hands of time was not enough to save his life. You must accept what came to pass was fate. Control yourself. Though Gerald's death was at the hands of wicked ones, a fate is still a fate. Oh, your father said to look for something here. He must have been referring to whatever is behind that bookcase there. Your father's diary? Huh. His handwriting is prettier than his face would suggest. Well, well. These entries here are from before your birth. He seems to have been writing this for quite some time. Oh, read that part there. Horsebow Moon, year 1159. Day 20 of the Horsebow Moon. All is cloudy. I can't believe she's dead. Lady Rhea said she died during childbirth. But is that the truth? And still, the child she traded her life for doesn't make a sound. Didn't even cry at birth. Day 25 of the Horsebow Moon. It's raining. The baby doesn't laugh or cry. Not ever. Lady Rhea says not to worry about a baby that doesn't cry. It isn't natural. I had a doctor examine the child in secret. He said the pulse is normal, but there's no heartbeat. No heartbeat. Day 2 of the Wyvern Moon. Sunny. I feel I must take the child and leave. But the church is always watching us. I don't know what Lady Rhea has planned. I used to think the world of Lady Rhea. Now I'm terrified of her. Day 8 of the Wyvern Moon. More rain. I used the fire that broke out last night to fake the child's death. Lady Rhea is in a state over the news, but I can't change what I've done. I've got to take the child and leave. Well now, that baby must be you. That means... Hmm? Someone is approaching us. Ah, here you are. To think that Captain... that Gerald would meet his end like that. I hope you know that you were the most important thing in the world to him. He wasn't the most emotional guy. I'm sure expressing his affection wouldn't have come naturally to him. After what's happened, it's up to me now. I, Alois, swear to protect you in the captain's stead. <sighs> Sorry. This isn't the time for my blathering. Lady Rhea is looking for you. I came to tell you that. I'll take my leave now. This book is filled with secrets yet unknown. We must return another time to read the rest. Oh, but I have at least figured one thing out. I know now why our fates are intertwined. Professor, I have been waiting for you. 
I am filled with grief at the loss of our most celebrated knight. Gerald was an ally of many years, and also a dear friend. He fell in love with one of the nuns here at Garagmark. Their love produced a child, whom she died giving birth to. It was her decision. She weighed her own life against that of her child's and, in the end, implored me to save the child. Your father never truly accepted that decision. He took the child, took you, and disappeared without warning. Your mother, she was my... I'm sorry for the interruption, Lady Rhea. There's something you must hear immediately. A report from the knights patrolling the area. Very well. Professor, you are dismissed for the day. Please rest and focus only on mending your heart. Understood? Narration? Yes. Part one. White, White clouds. clouds. Guardian, Guardian moon. moon. Where, Where the, the goddess, goddess dwells. dwells. Yeah. <laughs> Long ago, the Guardian Saros made an appearance during this moon. She had been summoned by the goddess, whose soul was suffering as the flames of war raged across Fodlan. Some believe that high in the sky above Saros, the Immaculate Ones, mighty wings, are what powered the strong winds carrying the Guardian and her forces into battle. All right. Five K. What? You're here again. Professor, you've been crying. So, even you cry sometimes. Oh, I suppose that was thoughtless of me to say. My teacher, you're so blinded by grief that you can't see what's going on right in front of you. Are you waiting for time to heal your wounds? Or have you curled up in a corner and lost the will to carry on? It does. You've lost yourself. Only you can truly understand your own sadness. Others can sympathize or even empathize, but all anyone else can offer are the tears of an outsider looking in. So I have no intention of crying for you or of standing still with you. All I can do is promise to reach out my hand when the time comes for me to move forward. The mysterious organization that was carrying out experiments in Remire Village and the chapel, they're up to something near Garrig Mok. The Archbishop has sent the Knights to undertake a large-scale investigation. No information has surfaced yet, but our enemies will soon be discovered. When they are, will you lead us into battle? Or will you just sit here with no thought for the future that is fast approaching? My teacher, there is a choice to be made. I hope you make the right one. My, my. She really is quite arrogant. She spoke her mind without an ounce of reservation. But she is right. The time has come to stand again. You know already what your answer is. Oh, thank you. You saved me. If you were to die, then the mystery of our bodies would be revealed. Preventing that was my only aim. I'm afraid you must remain, Kronya. There is something I need you to do. Oh, of course. I am always happy to cooperate with Solon. Leave it to me. How annoying. Flame Emperor, is she offending you? Unfortunately, we cannot take our eyes off her, so there is nothing to be done. 
You are our greatest creation. We use the defiled beast's blood as the fuel to your flame, that you may burn even the gods. Now is the time to cleanse Fodlin with that power and bring forth our salvation. There will be no salvation for you and your kind. Those responsible for such gruesome deeds in Dusker and Enmar. All so that you may acquire the strength you need. All for a purpose. So what the hell happens to Monica then? I don't understand. No one mentioned her at all. Like, you know... Ingrid, oh... Give her some tea. Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> what a nice aroma. Thank you. Drink my freaking tea. How relaxing. Tea? Cute month gives you light to receive. Pick the same thing. It's warm around the okay, she didn't li like my Thank life. <laughs> She's sad. What the hell? A rare monster sighting. That freaking thing again. Fish of mystery. Blessing of Balan Spice Festival. Golden fish. More quests, maybe? If you must weep, then weep. I shall be here for you. Well, it would be ridiculous to not feel anything after something like that. Go on and let it out. I am here. Cream of a crop? Honestly, do you have what it takes to train with the Imperial Guard? I don't know, do I? Do you have time for a request? Practice battle maneuvers. How do we do that? It's in here. That I just picked up here. Oh, is something hiding just behind that book? That ring. I have seen it before. Ah, I know. Gerald showed that ring to you beside a grave. Do you recall? He said he wished for you to have that ring one day. That means it's yours. He also said that you should gift that ring to someone special. Is that it? How the hell do I train with the Imperial Guard? Is it in a training or...? Uh, yeah. Let me have a look. Professor. So everyone is gonna just mention it. Uh, my flowers pa passing, isn't it now? Bow tournament. Oh, advanced seal. 
level 20 or higher. I can't use Shamir. I mean... Should I sign in? I mean, she should definitely handle this. Let's try. It's just too good to pass up, man. some healing here. See you. Can more support? God damn it! I freaking hate doing this. Hey there. Imagine going through this each time. It'd take freaking an eternity, dude. have a golden fish. Let me see if I can freaking go catch it. This freaking fish. Maybe it's like um, a battle, perhaps. Like a quest battle, maybe. Freaking near music, to be honest. It really does. Professor, I'm so happy to see you. You're finally returning to your old self. To see the light in your eyes again is a gift. It inspires me to carry on as well. As you know, the knights are searching furiously for any trace of the enemies who escaped. I'll inform you immediately if I learn anything. Hey, do you want some gifts? As I'll in I appreciate. 
I appreciate. I appreciate. Oh, it just increases our motivation. Hmm. Yeah, well, they are fully up. Okay. Sing with me. Oh. I'll keep singing. There's a bunch of stuff in here as well. I guess it's just used to increase like motivation and stuff, maybe. heavily grief weighs upon one's heart. I lost my mother some time ago. It was... Forgive me my moment of weakness. Even all these years later, I cannot recall that time without feeling the pain as if it were brand new. Just know that I am praying for your mind and your heart to find peace. Hmm. First Tomas, and now Monica. I do have a theory, though I admit it is nothing more than speculation. Both Tomas and Monica have each gone missing at one time or another. It was reported that when Monica returned from her disappearance, she began to act like a completely different person. As if, perhaps, the real Monica had been killed and replaced by an imposter. Thinking of it like that, it is possible that this Solon had been impersonating Tomas for some time. How they managed such a convincing change of appearance, though, I still do not understand. Also, it's finally some fun. someone mentions it. The sword of master. Really? Really? You've lost someone very dear to you. Manuela and I can take on some of your workload this month. We can't do all the teaching, but it I've always seen strength in your... You're a very... That teach me writing, dude. I still have much... I have something rather uncomfortable to discuss. It's about the weapon that killed Geralt. Will you listen? It was a dagger, but I know enough to know it wasn't an ordinary dagger. It wasn't made of iron or steel because, well, because whatever it was, the wound it left wasn't normal. Who could make a blade like that, do you figure? Oh, 
It's just. I wonder who they were. <laughs> what? But she had more to say. No more. So everyone is just grieving for me, I guess. your father now more than ever do I understand how very lucky I am that you were able to save me professor I deeply appreciate what you have done thank you if there is anything at all I can do in return please tell me okay absolutely I'm sure the motivation is um uh, she's probably pretty motivated at the moment I've never been much for condolences. How about a little logic instead? The knights have spread out around Garrig Mach in search of Geralt's murderers. Thus, the monastery's fighting strength is, for the moment at least, depleted. Perhaps that was the enemy's real objective. We should be prepared for further confrontation. Damn. He's maxed out as well, everyone's... Fairly happy. Because <clears throat> I cannot tell how happy are we if, unless we are not in my house. Like, that's a problem. Yeah, this music definitely sounds very near-ish. Which is exceptional music that Near has. It's a good franchise as well, very story heavy focused gameplay and Yeah, just those two as a very excels at story and gameplay really. Never never really into visuals. I guess. Professor, may I ask you a question? You were happy. What happened? Talk to males and make friends with them, but my brother also is because it's such a fuss when I do. Do you have any advice for me? You should have. I mean, he probably does have reasons. I mean, yeah. That is not very. I'm sorry. He probably knows that no male, no, a freaking male is no good for her. So. Our professor. What? Yeah. What a split. Is that? I'd never have learned this. I'm a quick study. A meteor? What the hell? Wait, Casper has C plus on the gauntlets. Why don't I give him. Hmm. Is that not something I can forge, like, actually? Sure. Oh. Learning these things gives me great. It is so much fun. Maria. I am grateful. It's okay. Let's relax at the freaking tea. Hang on. Where do I freaking forge it? Wait, who has it? The rest of the ones here. Can I do it? Oh, I could. 
Oh, he unlocks the A or plus? Bro. Freaking dragon claws. Because I would not be mean to, like, mine to diversify, like, the equipment that you use. I mean, Casper definitely looks like a brawler type anyways. So is it a battle quest? Oh, it is. So I can do this one. 24 suggested, wow. Practice battle maneuvers with the Adrestan Empire's Imperial Guard. Okay. usual that's freaking monster sighting i mean it's nothing special but the experience is pretty good anyways it's out i out of battle them anyways because it's nothing really nothing really story driven anyways so Iron, steel, silver, and training, okay. I think it was like a C, so I don't think he can use... Hmm. to see you. That's why it's when initiating combat. Commander class. A full bore of ordinary. No. Also, Dorothea's meteor attack is absolutely insane. That shit has like insane range. It's a decent. 
plus I'll also like a, an AOE thing as well. It makes me stronger. Well worth the effort. So it is pretty good. You've done me a great service. So that is done. Hmm. Yeah, I don't care about the event stuff actually. Could he be a rest or do you like a seminar? Sword of the Creator. What a splendid is that? That's a lot of A's. Their house reception. Hmm. Or Bernadette can do freaking archery. Dorothea. I think those what it means we can do as a hundred percent chance we can succeed. one a warlock this means enemies with high physical defense that's a lot of stats increase I guess we'll just be like make a freaking warlock Hmm. 
pass things to you for That's easy also, a warlock he is indeed. Freaking defense increases. Also a lot of stat increase for her as well. Defense. A sword user, isn't she? Speed and Dex. Sure, we make her a, a thief. Professor, I know where the enemy is. Where Solon is. They're in a place called the Sealed Forest, close to the monastery. The Archbishop is gathering the knights to begin a search. She's doing so in secret, behind our backs. She must be afraid that a thirst for revenge will compel you to seek them out. Now that you know, will you give us the order? No. I will not allow it. This discovery comes just when the knights are at their busiest. It is all too likely that our foes revealed themselves to lure you out there. They are the ones who took Geralt from you. I know how you must despise them, but I must ask you to rein in your personal feelings for now. Please, Professor, do not act carelessly. I ask that you leave this to us. Losing you so soon after losing Gerald would be unbearable. Lady Rhea, our professor is not acting out of revenge. Sending us out there is the most strategic move we can make. You can't deny it. Most of the knights are still far away. Not only does our professor wield a hero's relic, but there is no one here who is more powerful. Sedith and the few remaining knights can't leave the monastery unattended. We have fought under our teacher's command countless times. We are the most effective army here, 
And we are already prepared for battle. We have no idea what the enemy is plotting. We must act now. Professor, do you agree with this strategy? Understood. I will give you the order. Destroy the enemy that is hiding in the sealed forest. You have the protection of the goddess on your side. Whatever happens, you shall overcome. Let's go, my teacher. Whatever happens, do not lose your conviction out there. Okay. More than one. It's a big one. We are now within the sealed forest. We must not let our guard down. Professor, we'll avenge Gerald for you, no matter what. Remember, it is a bad idea to get distracted by revenge. I have readiness. Our enemies will be taking... Uh, we will take our enemies down. Well, it's not like we have any other missions this month. I suppose this is as good a way as any to spend our energy. Lindhart spending energy? We'd better finish this fast before the pigs start flying everywhere. Lower your voice. The enemy could be close. It is time to repay the kindness of the professor who saved my life. Professor, I know I'm the one who insisted we come here. But don't doubt for a moment that the enemy is waiting for you. Lady Edelgard, what are you saying? What other objective could they possibly have? We have no clue what kind of trap is waiting for us. Please be careful, my teacher. We can't afford to lose you. The enemy is strong, but you will prevail. You must. Okay. Welcome. Come back. Punishment is fine. Look there, demonic beasts. I suppose they aren't holding back. Hello, you're here. Welcome to the Forest of Death. <laughs> My name is Kranya. This weakling girl was just a borrowed look for me. <laughs> wow. This is what I really look like. Now, you vermin, I'll take down every last one of you. Okay. Chess here as well. This guy probably has a key for. Hmm. I will prevail. Yep, this is fine. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. Put me in there. That's my cue. Oh, I can attack. See, the freaking meteors are just so OP. I grasp. As you wish. I will get the victory. Stay focused. 
Are you Shamir not in here? Uh oh. Only a fool challenges me. Oh. That was a nice upgrade. Probably that wasn't the smartest move I could have done, but... On a sword. Together we can't fail. Marvel at our strategy. I guess we are fine. You should be honored. A hammer. Smartest move. Shall I help? I can use the strategy. Okay. Still unstoppable. Need the hand? 
plan is flawless. Okay, nice, he's dazed. Still might be a bit of a struggle on that flying though. are just too freaking OP. And down she goes. Well then. <laughs> I mean, all I need to do is just to go for her, right? Disturbance. And you can kill me. Victory. Hair versus orange hair. You freaking missed. I can fight through anything. It's okay, he got this. See under there when she goes like that, you know. She's gonna one shot them. I've got many skills, you know. I want to be. Oh, damn. I didn't even enjoy it. I mean, she's pretty done, I think. And I see Missy again. Okay, there's a E+. Plus. For death while you still can. Damn, look at her. She has quite the freaking. I must get stronger. 
Can I have a closer look at that? Nope. Forbidden spell of Zaharas upon our enemies. Please help me. could only have been magic. What happened to our professor? They were swallowed by the mystical darkness of the forbidden spell. An eternity wandering in a void of nothingness, never to return to this world. To think we almost had the sword of the creator. You're lying. Our professor is alive. I know it. That's right. Our professor is no ordinary human. It is hard to fathom that our professor would die in a place like this. It is possible that death has yet to find your friend, but there are worse things than death. Drifting through the darkness with no chance of escape, overwhelmed with hopelessness. <laughs> it must be torturous. You're already boasting a victory, but know this. If you did use such devious tricks to stop our professor, I swear that you will regret it. I cannot help but agree with her this once. Even if our professor is trapped in darkness, that is not the end of their story. I will not forgive such arrogance. If you prefer it so, you shall also be added to the ranks of the dead. You fool! Charging right into an enemy's trap. Are you just a boulder that rolls down whatever hill it's on? No, even a boulder has more sense. Apologizing won't make things right. This darkness is terrifying. As you and I are one, I too am trapped within this void. But please consider this. This realm of darkness we are in is separate from the world from which you came. I mean that it would take a god to leave this place. In time, our hearts and minds will cease to be. Are you prepared to die? How very brave of you to joke at times like these. <sighs> there is no other choice. Do you recall your father's diary? He said you were a child who never cried nor laughed. I think I am the one to blame. 
I must have been asleep, but even then, I feel I was a part of you. I do not know how Rhea managed it, but she allowed me to exist inside of you. The truth is, I have always been with you. It is within you that I found my power yet again. The power of a goddess. The power of the progenitor god. My name is Sothis. By now, you must be well aware of what that means. I am the one who watches over Fodlin and the creatures dwelling there. I am Sothis. She who died and then returned. There is but one thing left to do to save us from this darkness of eternity. I must now use the power of a god. However, I lack a body of my own. And so, I must relinquish all the power that I have... to you. The time has come for you and I to join as one. And when that comes to pass, then I shall disappear. When I say disappear, I do not mean that all I am will be no more. My soul will join with yours. And you and I will never be apart. But I will no longer have the chance to speak with you. I shall miss it. So long have I been on this path with you. Through you, I got to see and hear this world. I even got to chastise you from time to time. I may not have acted like a goddess, but it was certainly fun. For all that you have done, thank you. I'm glad that it was you to whom my fate was bound. Now, we must pray. For if we share this wish, our spirits too will join as one. Your wish is to return to the forest, stop the enemy, and rescue the little ones. <laughs> no need for words. I know your heart as though it were my own. <laughs> your will and mine are now as one. Both sides of time are revealed to you. And you alone. You know I am the beginning. What shall you do? The hell just happened? What? Professor, it is you, right? I knew that you would always come back to us. I'd like to ask about your appearance, but for now, let's dispose of our enemies. What did you see in the darkness of Zaharas? This should be impossible. The only being that can withstand that darkness is... Unless I dispose of you myself, I may never have the chance to send you back there.
making more goons. Out of the sword of the crater to regain its true power. Wow. Oh, it's now sublime. Holy. Those stats. Could have appearance though. The sofa is really just changed at all. He spawned that guy just to test out like the sword or something. Much how hard is he hit though? 25 2x. Hmm. Well, you leave away. I still one shot him anyways in here. Not one shot. Two shot. I have appearance of Sophis. OMG. Probably heal this fucking guy. Back to the fresh. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. Can go for it too. Might as well just use it up. Attack, isn't he? That he would, but I can just one shot him, so. All roses have thorns. This will take some strategy. Pretty hair color as well, or like us, a lightish green. Can barely like, get out of you. Watch 
Question mark. That is that. Don't need that. Surprisingly, that was did continue as well. Don't waste it. What's that? Oh, it's 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 oh. Failure is not an option. Nice. Ah. Attack the zone guy. I guess that's uh, not a permanent thing. Sweet of you. Kill this guy. Each battle, a chance to grow. For now, I guess. Okay. Ferdinand is too much levels, anyways. Get hit. I can't freaking reach her, man. Fortify? Oh. I am a true. That's pretty good. To the main guy. Okay, let's just pick an end. I'm sure we'll just kill him. I mean, 21 level. Yeah, we are definitely overpower him. I have no time to waste on the likes of you. Splendor of nobility. To think that I would lose to mere beasts. But this is not the end. Tullus will carry out our mission somehow. It's over. Now, Professor, about your appearance. Oh. He didn't disappear, did he? I swear this is like a a trend in this game is where the villains just disappear or they run away. That hair. 
and those eyes. You remind me of someone. What happened to you? Are you attracted at the Lord? Hmm? The goddess. I see. Well, I'm happy for you. Your weapon is called the Sword of the Creator, after all. It's no wonder she looks favorably upon you. Just as it was with Saint Saros, no doubt. And just how will you use this new power, Professor? Okay. My students for the people of the world. <laughs> that is so like you to say that. Tell me, if the world, and your students included, were to divide and go to war with each other, what would you do? In that scenario, each side would represent both the world and your students. Who would you... Slave them all. Professor? Oh. Have you fallen asleep? <laughs> uh, this must be a side effect of your recent changes. I can't just leave you here. Exactly. I shouldn't ask Hubert to carry you. So I suppose it falls to me. Just gonna bring her to the bedroom, dude. <laughs> Next thing you know, she's all in coffins. Professor, you must remain still. We can hide text again. I just freaking skipped it. Oh my god, I just skipped that whole thing. Crap, I don't know what to do now. How do I go back to it? It's probably gonna auto save and ruin me, anyways. Part one White Clouds, Pegasus Moon, Throne of Knowledge. The northern lands are enveloped in a bitter cold, and frigid winds are carried across the sea to the south of Adrestia. When feather white snow falls on Fodlin's locket, the fort looks as delicate as a pearl. However, beneath that snowy blanket, her throat is more treacherous than ever. Press the wrong button, man. Rhea, please talk to me. What are you hiding? Well, maybe I can restart it. Hold, I got it back. Professor, you must remain still. So that's how you press those buttons. Okay. Press the right. I uh, press the skip button. Everything is all right. There is no need to worry. Those who are trying to harm you are far away. For this moment to last forever. I wish I could hold on to this time we have stolen. That you and I could create a world without end. I have heard whispers of what happened to you. 
Your appearance? You have received power from the goddess. From the moment you took hold of the sword of the creator, I prayed that one day the radiant power of Sothis, which bathes Fodlin in its celestial light, might reside within you. But you are so much more than the light. You are my... <sighs> Close your eyes, dear one. Sleep just a while longer. I will be watching over you. Always. Always and forever. Yeah, I had to. We rewind that. That's just too precious to skip, you know, the dialogue between her. Part one, white clouds, Pegasus moon, throne of knowledge. So I restart it. The northern lands are enveloped in a bitter cold, and oh, frigid winds are carried across the sea to the south of Adrestia. When feather white snow falls on Fodlin's locket, the fort looks as delicate as a pearl. However, beneath that snowy blanket, her throat is more treacherous than ever. I think I've seen this one already. Rhea, please talk to me. What are you hiding? What is the meaning of how that one looks? It is almost as though... As I said, there is nothing of which to speak. For now. At the end of this month... I read Gerald's diary. I happened upon it in his room. What? In it, he stated the reason for his departure. The baby thought to have died in the fire has returned to us. Gerald realized that you had done something to the child and decided to flee. What did you do to that baby, Rhea? Nothing questionable, I should hope. Said it enough. They will be here shortly. No more, I beg of you. I will take our dear professor to the holy tomb. There, I should be able to see our dearest wishes to fruition. When I was young, I heard her voice there. I'm sure of it. You may enter. I have been awaiting your arrival, Professor. Now that you have received sacred power from the Goddess, there is somewhere you must pay a visit to at once. You must go to the Holy Tomb so that you may receive a divine revelation from the Goddess. The Holy Tomb is where the Goddess sleeps. This monastery was originally built for the purpose of protecting that hallowed temple. Only a select few know of it, but there is a legend about Seros and the Holy Tomb. Saint Seros, the first soul to be gifted power from the Goddess, received her revelation there. She was told that it was her sacred duty to save the people of Tholdlin, and that she must use her power wisely in order to lead them. The words that were handed down to Seros from the Goddess will likely fall upon your ears as well. Prepare yourself to go at once. There may you find out why you were blessed with such power. There will be a ceremony at the Holy Tomb. It is then that you will receive the Goddess's revelation. You may share this mission with your students. It is said that when Seros received the revelation, she had holy warriors by her side protecting her. Your students, who have followed you and fought alongside you through the darkest of times, are well suited to stand by you for the ceremony. Of course, as the leader of the Church of Seros, I will be by your side as well. 
The occasion is too significant to be missed. Even if something were to happen, I am more than capable of protecting myself. Much has changed, but your duty has not wavered. Steal your mind for the ceremony and prepare your students well. Probably would be a good idea to... Oh, Hilda. Oh, wow, thanks. And the EP, honestly. Some some flowers. It's a decent guy. See, so yeah, a lot has happened. By fusing with Sophus and awakening progenitor God's power, Byleth obtained the certification for the Enlightened One class. Mm. Whoa! A new path to tread. What the hell? That looks insane. Except it's so low res because you know, switch. Nintendo Switch hardware is just so good and powerful. <laughs> yeah, it just it looks just dude here stalking is even low even look less detailed. Look. We legit had to compromise to put detail elsewhere. My goodness, I feel bad for developers. You just look so bad. Still, it looks. Yeah, I mean, from a far, up far away, it's probably okay, but. Not bad. So it's an intermediate one. Holy one blessed by the goddess herself, this wielder of magic has high overall stats. Wielder of magic. I mean, it's like much better than anything else, really. The crown looks nice. Or that headpiece. Looks pretty good. Um, but yeah, I feel like definitely probably ended here. Definitely a lot has happened.